What's up, Nabs? It's Platinum TDX the Dragon Extreme, and welcome back for some more Modern Warfare. Uh, this was very convenient, considering I just did my Modern Warfare Let's Talk uh, earlier this week. But, let's jump right into this. Uh, no supply drops, no loot boxes, no loot crates, surprise mechanics, none of that. They're introducing a battle pass system into Modern Warfare, and I know... Uh, me being uh, a consumer, I always want to give, I want to get the most for what I'm paying for. And me paying 60 bucks, 70, 80, 100, whatever for a game, um, a triple A title nonetheless, you would think that that would be enough for them to make their money. But truth is, these games cost a lot and um, marketing, mocap, uh, just everything that this game offers from photo scanning and whatnot it, it's just crazy and you would think this would be a lot cheaper than it is but it's not um the fact of the matter is these games cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make and selling that amount of copies would turn a profit but not one that if you ran a company that you would want you want a bigger profit and i'm not faulting for them for that and i think introducing this battle pass is the best way to do this I've talked about this with friends and whatnot on how I would sort of do microtransactions in a game and a battle pass it has come across my mind. Um, and the reason I say that is because look at Fortnite. I know that's a free to play game, but when you look at Fortnite, you don't get the sense that you're paying to win because you can't pay for weapons. You can't do any of that. You just get the actual um, cosmetics in the battle pass. And that's what this is going to be. Um, all the functional content, and this is from Charlie Intel, by the way, all functional content that has an impact on game balance, such as base weapons and attachments, can be unlocked simply by playing the game, which is great. That's what we want. The new Battle Pass system will allow to see, or allow players to see the content that they have, they are earning or buying. Battle Passes will t launch timed to new post-launch live seasons, so you can unlock cool new Modern Warfare themed content that matches each season. So basically, they're going to have seasons and say Halloween events, uh, just like they had the Halloween specials and the winter event and all that. They're going to be doing all of that, but including it in the battle pass. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Um, with the new battle pass system, players will be able to earn COD points by playing the game. That's never been done before, to my knowledge. Now, I know Advanced Warfare introduced the supply drop mechanics and... Everyone hated or loved it because it was a new thing to do, but it was stupid RNG and you couldn't get what you wanted. And the only way to get some of these uh, loot boxes or get them in a, an efficient manner would be by COD points and you would have to buy them. And that's the way it's been ever since. Uh, sure, you could earn supply drops, but you wouldn't earn a good amount to justify the amount of time you're spending in the game. So people would usually just cave, and that's how they made 800 million in microtransactions from just everything. Um, but you'll be able to earn COD points by playing the game, which means you'll be able to buy your way into the premium stream of content. And this is going into the next point. There will be both a free stream and premium stream of content in the Battle Pass system in Modern Warfare. New base weapons will be earned through gameplay simply by playing. Functional attachments for base weapons can be unlocked through gameplay as well. Now, the Battle Pass and the end game store will feature a variety of cosmetic content that does not impact game balance. And what I'm betting they're doing, and you guys are probably thinking this too, um, they are probably going to introduce every single weapon variant into the base, uh, or not into the base, into the uh, premium stream of content for the Battle Pass. The free stream will get a couple here and there just to be like, hey, you're missing out, here, here, here. But the premium stream will have every single weapon variant you're looking for. And I gotta say, I'm all for it. Because regardless of what you think about game development, which you, which you think you know is probably wrong, and sure, it is kind of greedy that they, they're still doing microtransactions in a AAA title like this, but a battle pass is the best way to do it because it's completely cosmetic. Sure, there might be emotes, taunt, stickers, whatever the fuck, but we won't be getting those in supply drops anymore, which means everything in the free stream is probably going to be some random sticker or something and maybe a weapon variant for every like 10 levels or 20 even. 
Um, and now I, I know there were rumors about the prestige system going away and everything, and they've uh, talked about their ranking system, and I'll probably do a video on that too, or um, maybe not. I'm not sure. But fact of the matter is, this battle pass is pretty damn good, and the only way I can see them conning us with this is by still introducing supply drops later on, which I don't think they'll do. Um, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> COD Mobile. Now, obviously, there you, you and me, we both know that if you can capitalize on making money a certain way, like introducing supply drops into Modern Warfare for the console players and COD Mobile for people who are on the go, and if both play, both streams are buying supply drops, that's money. But I don't think they'll do it this time around because they they're on a they're on thin ice they're on thin ice with the community and with everyone and i think modern warfare was the last straw for a lot of people and even though they might be empty threats uh for me anyways if modern warfare was going to be shit i probably would have been would have been done with cod um and i only just got back into it um but yeah battle pass what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below uh, by the way, the gameplay you're seeing right now is from Modern Warfare. Uh, it's from a stream I did a long while ago. And if you guys ever want to tune in and join in on the streams, uh, link's in the description below. Um, or if you feel like typing, twitch.tv slash platinum TDX. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Do you guys think it's going to be uh, terrible? Do you guys think it's going to be kind of hype? I'm kind of hyped for it because it gives me something to do. Uh, and I actually like the game a lot so far. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And you say you always keep your way. Show me what you're after, just a little taste.